What's up everybody? Today we're going to be doing pause menus, but we're going to be pausing sound in our pause menu. So as we can see when we press P in this scene, we have music. Now if I press P again to pause the game, as you can see everything in the scene is paused except the music is still playing. So we're going to fix that really quick. So what we're going to need to do is click on your, your sound object or as what I have here is a sphere empty and it is always sound. So what I'm going to do is delete that always, add a property, and we're going to call this property pause. Now we're going to make this pause an integer, leave it at zero, click debug properties. We're going to add a property and we're going to call, say pause equals zero, then the sound will play. So if we press P, the sound plays. Now what we want to do is add a keyboard, make this keyboard and then connect this over to the sound and make this a NAND. So this is very important that you make it a NAND because uh, that way it is not replaying the song, it is stopping the song. So if we press P, we got our music playing. If we press P again, the music stops. Now what we have to do is say when we click resume, the music starts up again. So what we're going to do is go to our pause scene that we have, click on the pause object and then we are going to add a message so when we click on here so when mouse over and left button are activated it will activate the scenes back to unpause the game and also give the message unpause now i'm going to go back to my main scene click on my main object go over to object your object settings and name it music. This will make it easier to find when we go back to pause, go into our message and type in music. That way we're sending it to that empty. Go back to main, click on our empty, go back here, say when message is unpaused. So I have it copied. So you just type in unpause the same way, make sure the cap, it's case sensitive, so make sure it's all correct. It will activate a property that will assign pause to zero again. And what this will do is start the music back up. What we also need to do is add another property and we're going to say pause assign one. We're going to then move this one up by pressing this up arrow and taking the keyboard just grab this, drag it over and connect it. This will add a new and. Then pause assign one. So when we press P and the music starts playing, we start playing our game. We press P. It will, you can see the debug properties say one. We resume the game. The music starts back up again. So we can start playing our game with our music. If I don't die in my own little game. And then press P, music stops, and resume the game. This method is a little flawed in um, it starts the music back from the beginning. So you could be halfway or all the way at the end of a song, and then you press pause, start the music from the beginning. So if someone has a better method for doing this, uh, let me know in the comments. Uh, that's just the quick solution that I found for this little problem. Anyways, I hope you all enjoyed. Hope it was helpful, and I'll see you in the next.